Hello! In this video I will show you how to connect VP Forms and Send in Blue. By the way, my name is Ayre Deskerstukas and if you get any benefit from this video, please don't forget like and subscribe. So let's begin. It's good to have all your customers' emails in one uh, list for emergency situation. If something happens and your business have any troubles, it is nice to have a list of your customers to be able to send a message and contact them about any issues. Let's have a look how we can scrape that data into Sentient Blue using the contact form. So in this scenario, I'm gonna use this form. I'm going VP forms. I'm gonna use this one form. Let's go and edit. As you can see, a standard. I just want to enable marketing, and you can see at the moment we don't have any marketing going on. So I'm gonna press and send in blue, and then the message pop up. The send in blue add-on is not installed. Would you like to install? I'm gonna press yes, install, and activate. Yes, save and refresh, and you can see Send in Blue is activated. If you're gonna press, and then you need to add new account, so you need Send in Blue API key and Send in Blue account nickname. If you are on your Send in Blue dashboard, go on the right side and press on your name, and go and press on SMTP API, and here is the key where you need to copy and paste. And then you can create a nickname and press add. Enter a connection name. I'm gonna write contact opt, press OK, and then select an account. That's my one account. And action to perform, subscribe, and then email from the email to the email and pick the list. In this case, we're gonna forward to MTE. If you're not happy, you can always go here, add new list, and then after some time on this list should appear. And now you have a first name, custom form to the name, add message, comment, or the message. You can add as many as you want. Last name, you don't have a last name on your form. So if you want, then you have to save. Go to the fields, you see you have a name. What you need to do, you need to drag another name and then go simple pick and then rename first name. Go to the second one, pick the simple and format pick last name. If you wanted that would be displayed in one field, go to advanced option on CSS classes, show layouts, and then you can pick this one and this one. And then you're going up, going advanced options, CSS, and you should pick this one. I'm gonna save it, go to the marketing, and in here I can pick last name and save it. After you finish, exit the form, and you have this short code. Go to the website page, Let's say I wanted to replace this one or just gonna add additional here. So gonna go to the customizer, widgets, area two, we have a Caldera form, add the widget, search for the VP forms, select the form, footer contact form, and if I scroll down, it appeared here. Go to this one and you can remove it. And then the form is on the page. Publish, exit, Scroll down and you could see the forms here. I'm gonna enter first name, last name, email, message, and submit. Thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. Let's go to the contacts, to the list, and you can see one list here. If I would press, you could see email, first name, last name, message, and what date has been Enter. I would love to hear what you think about the content. Just drop the comment below. If you get any benefit, please don't forget like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and bye bye to the next time.